Good morning everyone, this is the Volkswagen ID7 Pro S Tora with the big battery and today we're going to do a long distance trip with this car 700 kilometers with a better route planner. We'll plan the route only in a better route planner, what the charging and everything is. Try to use the OBD dongle to get a real time state of charge in and we're going to use it in Android Auto as well. And charge here at the supercharger to 80% and we go. We started driving. I'm driving 140 because I want to do a little long distance trip. With, with drive a bit, come on. Started with 80%. A better route planner is running. And I planned my route uh, to around 350 kilometers distance and then back to where I started. It tells me here on the right that my state of charge, 69%. I have OBD, an OBD dongle connected and it read out the data, but I don't think it's connecting the whole time because it's red. It's not, I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. It tells me I arrive with the first charger with 34%. I see it is a 300 kilowatt charger and I see how many stalls. That's the segments on this circle. Oh, I pressed something. And um, also which are then, which are available and which are, the green are available. Red will be in use or broken and it just does the whole trip which is awesome i can also see my uh, whole trip if i want to and i it says me I, I will drive first to embw and will arrive there in 118 kilometers at 820. and my trip data here so you see what's happening perfect day traffic wise but it just rained like crazy I changed my trip because I remembered that my EMBW card is now expensive <laughs> so I had to delete EMBW of the chargers that uh, a better route planner is using so it navigated me to an anal pulse this looks like it has eight chargers um, I should arrive with around 21% and what is it 11 degrees out there it's all nice um, i have the navigation of a better route planner in my head-up display but not in the ar department <laughs> not hr in the augmented reality part that's just google maps not uh, a better route planner I arrived at the first charger at Al Pulse. There are thousands of people outside. That's why I'm filming inside now. Um, this is my data for the drive. I ha did not reset my from start. And this is 14 kilometers more, 27 minutes uh, less what we need. But this uh, from charging will uh, reset in a second. Yes, uh, a better route planner tells me I should charge to 79%. And I'm doing that and then we go on so it wants less charging stops for me and then we go to the turnaround point you can see here in app 2 start to 79% then the turnaround point and then back to where we started it's 487 kilometers to be at the end 130 to my turnaround point so that's pretty good are oh, they leaving I think they're leaving yes 
Yeah. It's mighty windy out here. People are still here, but they're quieter. Um, charging here at Aral Pulse. They have eight stalls here. And it's extremely windy. <laughs> My God. Car is doing well. Uh, ex except when it rained extremely strong. It was a nice drive. And I still have to hold uh, the charging when I plug it in so the communication works. <laughs> So windy, oh my god, look at the turbines. I don't know if you can see, we have solar panels and wind, a wind farm here. Uh, it's really uh, not always fun to drive 140, but it's fine. Come on, where are we? <laughs> um, I have to change highway soon. No, we're just going. I have to go to Berlin, 900 meters. Um, I will arrive with 40% at my turnaround point and that's in 68 kilometers so everything is good. I just calculated my time and um, so I started at 7.02. I looked it up because I wanted to know. Yeah, I will look, I will know at home. But if I started at 7.02, that means right now I have an average speed, including the first charging session of 107. 107 kilometers an hour, which is good. Everything above 100 kilometers an hour, average speed is amazing. I have just been at the turnaround point. We are driving back and I see we're charging at Ionity Himmelkron. I haven't been there in a while. They have updated it back in the day when I picked up a Walter, my ID3. They had four chargers. Now I think they have 12 or even more. And it says I will arrive with 15%. Uh, it's 84 kilometers. I have 866 kilometers of range. If you need a charging solution for your trip through Europe or through your country, then check out Mangau Autostrom. With Mangau, you can charge at over 550,000 charging stalls all over Europe. You can start the charging process with the app, with a card, or with this tiny little chip that's so light you can have it on your keychain. Check them out in the link in the description below. That looks better. 181 kilowatt at 22%. Can I, can I see the power again? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of these charges. So that's Ionity now here in Himmelkron. We have the six tritium charges there and then six other charges here. One is out of order and we have four Allego here. So eight. So all together we have 20 CCS charges here. Awesome. I calculated now. Well, I'm, I'm done charging in seven minutes or less. Five minutes. I calculate right now I have an average speed of 110 kilometers an hour, which is pretty good. I'm on the way to the next and last charger where we just charge for a few minutes. I'm at 35%, it's 81 kilometers and I should arrive with 15%. 
all cool by the way up here you can see your actual speed so GPS not what the the, the car shows you this is awesome and it shows you the speed limit there then too when you have one that's awesome I like that so you can see how much you're really over <laughs> another excuse to drive fast no <laughs> but uh, yeah I'm there in an hour or so no in 40 minutes and then charge a bit and then just a few minutes five minutes or so and we go on Change of plans, even though a uh, better route planner thinks I should charge. When I look at the route, it's 35 kilometers or so to the charger and then another 50. So uh, 84 kilometers and I have 120 kilometers of range. I think I can make it. <laughs> I think I can do it and I'm gonna try it. I'm just driving a bit sl slower. I'm driving 130 now. I drove 150 for the last hour and it was no problem at all. I'm just gonna drive 130 and I think I can make it. I think consumption will go down and it should be no problem. My prediction. I arrived with 8% um, on the clock it's less than six and a half hours and I have to deduct six minutes for a toilet break and the car says it's not true 706 kilometers I will do all of this kilometers time and average speed and everything at home but here you can see the average consumption now at home I could really calculate and see everything I put in Google Maps all the, the spots where I have been and it is 698 kilometers that I have driven and I also looked at the time I started at 702 but I had to wait for a second because I had to prepare a camera that I forgot and then I was on a bathroom break for six minutes and the whole thing took then where I was driving so end charging was 6 hours and 22 minutes. That's an average speed of 109.6 kilometers per hour, including charging for 700 kilometers. That's awesome. Average consumption for the whole trip. First charging stop, I charged uh, 53 kilowatt hours. Second charging stop, I looked at the app. It says I only charged 2 kilowatt hours in 19 minutes. That's not right, correct, but I saw in the video I charged from 19 to 70% and that is in a charging session at Ionity that I filmed once would be 47.8 kilowatt hours. I don't know why, it, you remember when I, I started charging that it, it, it showed start, but it was still charging. I think it was a software error. Maybe I got the charging for free. Yeah. <laughs> and then I arrived with 8% but I started with 80% and if I again I would have charged from 8 to 80% at Ionity it would be 67.5 kilowatt hours because I did a charging test at Ionity once. That's all together for the 700 kilometers 168.59 kilowatt hours. That's an average consumption including charging loss. That's important. It's uh, 24.15 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometer, so 241 watt hours per kilometer. That is when it was raining, when I drove 140, 150, uh, so I didn't save, uh, try to be efficient. Um, and with this gigantic car, but 19 inch wheels, and yes. That was my drive. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That was a great drive. Good average speed. I like it. Um, that's amazing. 110 kilometers an hour average speed, including charging. That's the stuff. That means if you have to drive 700 kilometers, it takes six, less than six and a half hours. That's cool. Okay, if you want to follow me on Instagram, Better Life One, and if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's also channel membership. And if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes, I have a third YouTube channel behind the battery. But that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.